Many years ago, I did a comparison of the old-fashioned zinc-based glow-in-the-dark paint, which was developed in the 1970s, to the newer strontium-based glow paint, which was developed in the 1990s. The result was uh, that the, the new stuff, the strontium 1990 material, was about 10 times as bright and uh, lasted 10 times as long. In fact, there was so much difference, you couldn't photograph the two together. This was so bright that if you set the camera up for this, this didn't appear at all, it was too dim. If you set it up for this, this was so bright it blew the whole frame out. Uh, but I got to wondering, uh, that was 16, 17 years ago. And I started looking around to see if things had changed in the head. In the early 2000s, some chemists developed an improvement of the zinc based, which uh, not only extended the color range, but made it much brighter. Additionally, there are now uh, europium based glow in the dark paints. This one is by United um, Nuclear. And uh, these are supposed to be very bright too. So I thought I'd update the test comparing the zinc based, the new zinc based, to the strontium to the new uh, europium glow-in-the-dark paints and see which is brighter. Besides wanting to find out which is brighter, it, it would be a good thing to know if the cost difference is justified by it. For example, uh, the cheap uh, zinc-based stuff is about two dollars for two ounces and you can get this anywhere, Walmart, Michaels, Joann's, almost anywhere. Uh, the strontium-based, this particular brand, is ten dollars for half an ounce it's a very small um, jar and the new europium is uh, twenty dollars after shipping uh, for four ounces and you can only buy this from united nuclear united nuclear is a scientific supply company that also supplies science toys for children before we get to the actual brightness test i wanted to show how these materials are different uh, the zinc based paint is a fairly thick liquidy type of stuff that paints on and levels very easily. The um, strontium based material from Glow Ink is thick, it's almost like a paste and uh, you can actually feel and see the gritty crystals that are the uh, glow in the dark uh, uh, active material. The um, thinnest is by far the material from United Nuclear. It just flows like, uh, like almost like water. And this creates a problem. The uh, crystals, uh, the, the fine glow-in-the-dark powder that's mixed into this latex carrier is heavier than the carrier so that if this is on the shelf for anything more than a day or two, you have to stir it up. When I got mine, uh, I guess it had been on the warehouse shelf for a while because it had, there you can see it in just a few hours it settled out quite a bit. That thick stuff is the powder that actually glows. Uh, this stuff will settle out fairly quickly and you have to stir it quite a bit. When I got mine it took over five minutes of very vigorous stirring to get this mixed in and as you can see it's already starting to settle out so you almost have to remix this every time you have to use it. To compare the brightnesses, I took white enameled thumbtacks and painted each with an equally thick layer of each paint. This is the zinc, this is the strontium, this is the europium. Because of the varying thicknesses, it only took one layer of the strontium to get about a sixteenth of an inch layer. It took four layers of the zinc based paint and five layers of the thinnest um, europium based paint to get an equal thickness on each one. What I'll do is uh, charge them up for a period of time, turn the lights off, turn the camera on, and we'll see which is brighter and equally important, which fades the fastest. And here we go. It's obvious from the very start that the zinc paint on the left is much, much dimmer than the strontium in the middle and the europium on the right. The strontium and europium samples 
uh, look almost white because to set the exposure so that I could even see the zinc, the, uh, the strontium and the europiums are overexposed. As they decay slightly, they will turn into a uh, more familiar yellow-green. Now I have to say that al although the zinc is much dimmer, compared to the tests I did with the 1970s material, this stuff is better. It is glowing much brighter uh, uh, than the, uh, the earlier formulation. So whoever worked on this in the early 2000s knew what they were doing. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it up to be as bright, anywhere near as bright as the uh, strontium or the uh, europiums. Now in person, the uh, strontium and europium are a purer green than they appear on the screen. It's common for these materials to give off a light of light at first, uh, for the first 15-20 uh, seconds, and then decay very quickly. After that, the glow is uh, fairly constant, and what we're going to do is uh, turn off the camera now and let these decay for an hour, and then I'll turn it back on, and you can see how much uh, they've retained their brightness. And here we are an hour later. The uh, zinc on the left has faded pretty much to obscurity as far as the camera can pick up. In person there is still a faint glow so they have improved its, uh, its brightness considerably but it's still no comparison to either the strontium in the middle or the europium on the right. Now at this point you may be saying you know I don't see a whole lot of difference between the strontium and the europium and uh, neither do I, so I did some research and I found out they're the same paint. The strontium paint has some europium in it as a dopant to make it work better. Uh, the uh, europium paint, when I looked up the material safety data sheet that has to be filed with the government, it turns out it doesn't say it's made out of europium, it says it's doped with europium. So I think United Nuclear just did a little creative marketing to increase the sexiness of their uh, their product and are calling it a europium based paint so uh, they're not telling a lie I mean it does have europium in it but it isn't uh, that much different than the regular strontium paints which one to get I prefer the thicker strontium paint in the middle it doesn't drip it doesn't uh, uh, the glowing powder doesn't fall out of solution and it doesn't need to be mixed all the time and if you compare the prices, it's about the same. It's, it's more per ounce, but it doesn't take as many uh, coats to get it on. So I uh, hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.